Welcome to Just Cook Something. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make extra large artisan bread. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to be adding is one and a half teaspoons of activated dry yeast, and I'm just eyeballing it. And then we're going to add four teaspoons of granulated sugar, along with two teaspoons of vinegar. All right, next we're gonna add three cups of filtered water. The water was warmed at 110 degrees Fahrenheit and just pour it into the bowl carefully so it doesn't splatter. And then just give it a mix for around 30 seconds to a minute should be good enough until everything dissolves. And then we're gonna let it sit there for around 10 minutes and you'll see the yeast actually starting to grow. So that's your cue to start mixing it again after 10 minutes is up and just mix it for around 30 seconds. All right, next we're gonna be adding salt. Now I'm using kosher salt, but you can just use regular table salt as well. And we're gonna be adding two teaspoons of it into the bowl. Just give it a quick mix to let it dissolve. And then from there, we're gonna move on to our flour. So I'm using bread flour, but if you have all purpose flour, that's totally fine as well. And we're gonna add six cups into the bowl. And then we're gonna grab our spatula and slowly mix it in so we don't make a mess. You don't want the flour flying everywhere, so take your time with this part. And let the flour incorporate into the water until it gets nice and sticky. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as majority of the flour is gone. And the consistency looks something like this. So from there, we're gonna add a saran wrap over the bowl. And then we're just gonna cover it with a cloth and just leave it for two hours. So after two hours, this is what it should look like. It should have doubled its size. And then we're gonna use the spatula and just get all corners of the dough and fold it inwards. If you find it hard folding in the dough, you can use the back of the spatula. I find that's also helpful as well. And you're looking for that smooth consistency at the bottom of the dough. So if you look closely, you can see that it's starting to form a nice smooth texture. And that's what you're looking for. So just keep folding all sides in. Uh, do it a couple times until it looks something like this and then cover the bowl with the saran wrap and then we're just going to put a cloth over it again and this time we're just going to let it rest for one hour. All right so after an hour this is what it looks like and this is our final mix so we're just going to poke it just for fun and then again same thing we're going to use a spatula and use the back of the spatula and just try to fold everything inward so you're just kind of lifting it from each corner and trying to pull it over into the middle and you'll see this time the consistency of the dough actually is a lot more smoother it looks a lot better so at this point it already looks like we're good to go so we're going to get our flour put it on the cutting board make sure a lot of flour you're using because this stuff is sticky and then from here, we're gonna add some more flour on top of the dough. And then we're gonna kind of pull it and tuck it all inwards from underneath. And this is the tricky part, especially with this big piece of dough. We're gonna try to pinch all corners in, and then we're just gonna flip it. And this is what I find most helpful to get it into its proper shape, is when you do that one flip, and then you just start smoothing it and tucking all corners in. You'll know your dough is ready when the top of the dough is nice and smooth. From there, we can take some parchment paper and then carefully just put it into the bowl. And then we're gonna add some extra flour on top of the, the dough itself. And this is just gonna give it a nice look. So all you have to do is just get a knife and just make a quick design. And just a basic cross should be good enough. Just enough for the dough to open up when you bake it. And we're just gonna cover it with a cloth and preheat our Dutch oven. Now I'm using a seven quart Dutch oven. If you have anything smaller, then this size of dough won't work for you. So make sure you have a seven quart Dutch oven and we're gonna preheat it at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So once it's fully preheated, we're gonna take out our Dutch oven and place the dough in there carefully and then we're gonna throw it back into the oven and bake for 40 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And after 40 minutes, this is what it looks like. And just keep in mind, if it doesn't look as pretty as mine, you just give it another five minutes if it looks a little underdone. But if you wanna crisp it up, you can take out the parchment paper and place it on a trivet so the bottom of the bread doesn't burn. And then just bake it for an additional five minutes or 10, depending again how much you like your bread crispy. But this is what it should look like. 
Here's a nice close-up shot of that beautiful bread. And I know what you're thinking, you really want to cut this bread, but you probably should wait. In fact, you should definitely wait. Wait at least 20 minutes. You can poke and stare at it like I did. And when that 20 minutes is up, you can give it the first cut. The first cut is always the best cut, and I usually don't share that with anybody. And why should I? I work so hard on this. And just remember, this is all trial and error, so if your bread doesn't look like mine, or if it looks a little underdone, just add an extra 5 minutes to your baking time, because every oven is different. Thanks again for watching this video, I really hoped you enjoyed it. If you're interested in similar videos, I'll leave them linked in the description below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.